this is a brief overview of ACT Mobile Live working with ACT 2011. So what we're going to do in this uh, short session is just add a new contact record to uh, a demo ACT database and synchronise that wirelessly to a BlackBerry um, because that's pretty much all ACT Mobile Live does in fact. Um, it does work with other devices, not just BlackBerry, it, uh, it works with iPhone, um, Windows smartphone, uh, I believe there's uh, Android coming soon as well. Uh, but quite simple it is, so you can just synchronise contact detail to your PIM applications or your personal information manager applications on your BlackBerry or iPhone or whatever the device might be. That is to say that you have your address book and your contacts databases on your device and this system just synchronises that data into those uh, document, uh, sorry, into those uh, contact and address uh, repositories. It's just basic contact information as well, so we're talking about name, address, telephone number, phone number, that kind of stuff, not custom fields. You can also synchronise a few notes and histories, although they need to be managed in ACT, not on the device. So starting off by right clicking the icon in the toolbar and selecting preferences for ACT Mobile and this allows me to set up the basic parameters of how it will work. You do need to create an account uh, which is uh, quite a straightforward part of the initial setup but then it's a case of determining what contacts get synchronised from ACT to your mobile device. So if I go to edit that it could be all your ACT contacts or just the ones that you manage or you can use an advanced query in ACT to set up a sync set to determine specifically which contacts are synchronised. You'll see in my example here I'm synchronising to my BlackBerry all contacts where the country code contains United Kingdom, but you can be very specific about that if you wish. Um, the other configurable elements are notes and histories. You can configure the number of notes and histories that get synchronised with each contact. Uh, and if in the case of histories, what specific history types are included uh, as well. Um, and then beyond that, uh, synchronization action allows you to determine whether it's a bi-directional synchronization and whether contacts can be edited within the uh, uh, mobile device as well as ACT or whether ACT is in charge of all, uh, all editing uh, of contact detail. Uh, you can manually synchronise or you can set up a schedule. You can see here I've got a schedule set up to synchronise every four hours. This is managed by a Windows service so it sits in the background and ticks away but I'm going to be uh, creating uh, or instigating a, a manual synchronisation now just to send my new record for David Cooper uh, to my BlackBerry. Now when I click synchronise now from the app mobile icon menu on the toolbar it's actually transferring that record and any changes since my last sync to my ACT Mobile account which is sitting on a, a web server which is managed by uh, ACT Mobile Live so it's just holding transitory data, the, the data will sit there until it's picked up by my BlackBerry. So as soon as the synchronisation has completed I'm going to connect to my uh, account in ACT Mobile Live on the server there so I can show you what that looks like. So if I right click again and my account. You can log into this account from anywhere actually, it's just a, a browser based thing so open up Internet Explorer in any um, cyber cafe around the world or wherever you might find yourself and it's just another way of accessing your data. So you can see here's the record I've created on ACT and synchronised to my ACT Mobile Live account. There's calendar information as well so I can synchronise activity data to my BlackBerry this way. This is just a little application I use to stream my BlackBerry screen onto my PC so you can see what it looks like on the BlackBerry, very simple icon on the desktop uh, and then it's just a case of hitting the contacts or calendar button and you can see now it's synchronising with the ACT Mobile Live account that I've set up, putting down any changes that I've made or sending back to my ACT Mobile Live account anything that I've changed on the, uh, on the BlackBerry. So if I go into my uh, address book, uh, it's just a basic uh, on onboard address book that comes with BlackBerry, I do a bit of a search, you can see I've found David Cooper which is the record I added in ACT. It's just presented in the in the same way as any other contact in the BlackBerry, just basic contact information, uh, name, address, telephone number, etc. and a bit of notes and history information if, uh, if appropriate. I can edit that, uh, so if I click to edit the record, um, you can edit fields of information, 
So for example, if I change the job title from director and promote Dave Cooper to managing director and save that, I can synchronize that then back to act. But that's all really, I can't do much with notes or histories or in fact, uh, in fact, if there is an existing note, we found that you can make changes to that note and they will synchronize back to act. So I'm now synchronizing my BlackBerry uh, with my o Act Mobile Live account. And when that's completed, I'm going back now to my desktop and I'm just going to force a manual synchronization again to pull those changes down into ACT. So that's completed now. And if I refresh the screen, hopefully you will see that David Cooper is now managing director. And that's pretty much what it does. Uh, please do check out our other videos where we examine handheld contact, which is a far more feature rich solution and also a companion link, a very popular means of synchronizing uh, your act data with uh, Windows or iPhones or Blackberries or other mobile devices. Thank you.